His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Goswami Maharaj, Srila Prabhupada Ki Jai. Srila Prabhupada Ki Jai. His Divine Grace, Srila Prabhupada Ki Jai. Ananta Koti Vaishnav Vrinda Ki Jai. Nama Charja Srila Haridas Thakur Ki Jai. Prem Shri Gaho Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhupada Ananda Shri Advaita Gadadhar Shri Vasadi Gaur Bhakti Vrinda Ki Jai. Shri Shri Radha Krishna Gopagopina Shamakun Radha Kun Giri Govardhan Ki Jai. Shri Vrindavan Dham Ki Jai. Shri Maya Purnava Dweep Dham Ki Jai. Shri Jagannath Puri Dham Ki Jai. Jagannath Swami Baladev Subhadra Ki Jai. Shri Shri Gornitai Ki Jai. Shri Shri Panchatattva Ki Jai. Shri Shri Radha Govinda Ki Jai. Radha Kund Shamakund Ki Jai. Gaur Pemanande. To the assembled devotees, all glories to the assembled devotees, all glories to the assembled devotees, all glories, all glories to Sri Sri Guru Garanga, all glories to Sri Prabhupada, Harinam Sam Kirtan Ki Jai.
Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. <laughs> Forgot that. <laughs> Nama Om Vishnu. So, welcome everybody to another evening darshan. Whoops. Uh, I guess your sandals are nice and warm now. Warm enough for you? <laughs> Smoking. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> you won't need them in India, it's okay. Okay. Krishna. It's not incense. <laughs> uh, lessons from the wilderness. Don't put your shoes too close to the fire. Okay. How many people we got signed up? God. Wow, not bad. Even though, even though we took a, a night off, huh? it's not bad. So today we're going to continue where we left off on Sunday with uh, Nartas. Discussing the subject of Anartas is very important because the Anartas, uh, if we don't conquer the Anartas, we cannot progress past the stage of Vaidhi Bhakti. Vaidhi Bhakti means regulated devotional service according to the rules of the scriptures. And Raga Nuga Bhakti means um, spontaneous devotional service. What's that? Oh, the gas truck. Uh, so spontaneous devotional service requires that we are pure, that we don't have any offenses and that we are uh, free from various defects called anartha. Anarthas means that which leads to bad fortune. Artha means wealth. Anartha means the opposite. So we have to get rid of our anarthas or inauspicious characteristics in order to advance beyond the, the neophyte stage of devotional service. Otherwise, there's no way that uh, we can get beyond that. So we went into this on Sunday, and actually two weeks before last Sunday, but uh, we didn't get very far. There's lots of anarthas. <laughs> huh? So uh, up until now, we've covered Svarupa Brahma. Brahma means illusion. And Swarupa means our constitutional position, our real spiritual identity. So uh, we covered the four kinds of Swarupa Brahma. And then we began to discuss the next category of an artist, which is called Asat Trishna. Asat means that which is temporary. Asat, or illusory, because Sat means truth. Asat means illusion or a lie. And trishna means a thirst or desire. Uh, so when we have a desire for that which is non-eternal, in other words, the material world and its qualities and activities, then we have this anartha called asat trishna. And there are four kinds of asat trishna. One is varieties of desires for material enjoyment in this world. And this is probably by far the most common anartha of all. Uh, people get conditioned by material enjoyment, and then they, uh, because the senses are always crying out for, for enjoyment. Let me enjoy this, let me enjoy that, give me this, give me that. Uh, if you put a small child in a candy store, They'll just eat themselves until they're sick. <laughs> They'll just, you know, fill up on candy and they have no idea when to stop. So uh, this material world is like the candy in the candy store. And if we just allow our senses to dictate our engagement, our activities in this world, then we'll certainly suffer from the disease of Asat Trishna. And we've gone into this, I don't know how many times. 
<laughs> how the, that which is temporary does not even really exist. It can't be said to, to really exist because it has no independent existence. It depends on some previous cause. It depends on some conditions. And when those conditions don't apply anymore, then it disappears. Uh, just like when you have plenty of rain, the grass grows very nicely. But then if there's a drought, the grass simply dries up. And uh, if it stays without water for long enough, it will simply blow away, turn to dust in the wind. So we have to be very careful that the things that we desire to enjoy are spiritual, eternal things, huh? that we have a desire for 